our planet Earth is bursting with life. From the dense green rainforests teeming with vibrant flora and fauna, to the vast open savannas where majestic animals roam freely, every corner of our planet is alive with activity. From towering trees that stretch towards the sky to tiny insects that play crucial roles in their ecosystems, a huge variety of plants and animals call Earth home. Each species, no matter how big or small, contributes to the intricate web of life that sustains our planet. These living things don't just exist anywhere. They thrive in environments that provide the right conditions for their survival. They live in specific places where the climate and environment suit them. These places offer the perfect balance of temperature, moisture, and resources. These homes are called biomes. Each biome is a unique community of plants and animals that have adapted to live in a particular environment. Think of them as Earth's major neighborhoods. Just like neighborhoods in a city, each biome has its own distinct features and inhabitants. Each biome has its unique character, like the sweltering heat of a desert or the icy chill of the Arctic. These extreme conditions shape the life forms that can survive there. The type of plants and animals you find changes from one biome to the next. In deserts, you'll find cacti and reptiles adapted to conserve water, while in the Arctic, you'll see polar bears and hardy shrubs that can withstand freezing temperatures. Learning about these biomes helps us understand the incredible diversity of life on Earth. It shows us how life has evolved to thrive in every corner of our planet, from the deepest oceans to the highest mountains. By studying these biomes, we gain insight into the delicate balance of nature and the importance of preserving these habitats for future generations. Scientists and explorers continue to uncover the secrets of these biomes, helping us appreciate the complexity and beauty of our natural world. Educating ourselves and others about biomes is crucial for fostering a sense of responsibility towards our environment. It encourages us to protect and cherish the diverse ecosystems that make our planet so special. Ultimately, Understanding Earth's incredible biomes reminds us that we are all connected and that the health of our planet depends on the well-being of these vital ecosystems. Scientists group biomes based on two main factors, climate and vegetation. Climate refers to the long-term weather patterns of a region, including temperature and rainfall. Vegetation refers to the types of plants found in an area. For example, areas with high temperatures and heavy rainfall throughout the year are categorized as tropical rainforests. These rainforests are known for their dense canopies of tall trees. In contrast, regions with low temperatures and little rainfall are classified as tundra, characterized by low-growing plants like mosses and lichens. Tropical rainforests are like Earth's giant greenhouses. They are hot and humid all year round with plenty of rain. These forests are incredibly diverse, home to more species of plants and animals than any other biome on Earth. Towering trees create a thick canopy, blocking out most of the sunlight. Below the canopy, a world of fascinating creatures thrives, from colorful parrots and monkeys to jaguars and anacondas. The Amazon rainforest in South America and the Congo rainforest in Africa are prime examples of this vibrant biome. Imagine endless plains of grass dotted with scattered trees. That's the savanna. This biome experiences warm temperatures year-round, but unlike rainforests, savannas have distinct wet and dry seasons. The dry grasses of the savanna provide the perfect fuel for wildfires, which play a crucial role in maintaining this biome. These fires help prevent trees from taking over and allow grasses to thrive. The African savanna, home to iconic animals like lions, elephants, and giraffes, is the largest savanna in the world. Section 5. Scorching Deserts and Their Secrets Deserts are the driest places on Earth. These vast, arid landscapes cover about one-third of the Earth's land surface. They are characterized by their extreme conditions and unique ecosystems. They receive very little rainfall, often less than 10 inches per year, and temperatures can swing dramatically between scorching days and freezing nights. During the day, temperatures can soar above 120 degrees Fahrenheit, while at night, they can plummet to below freezing. Despite these harsh conditions, deserts are far from lifeless. They are home to a surprising variety of plants and animals that have evolved to thrive in this challenging environment. Plants like cacti and succulents have adapted to survive in this arid environment by storing water in their leaves or stems. 
these plants have developed thick, waxy surfaces to reduce water loss and deep root systems to tap into underground water sources. Animals like camels, scorpions, and desert foxes have also developed remarkable adaptations to cope with the lack of water and extreme temperatures. Camels can go for weeks without water, storing fat in their humps to survive. Scorpions are nocturnal, avoiding the heat of the day, and desert foxes have large ears to dissipate heat. Think of the Sahara Desert in Africa or the Mojave Desert in North America. These iconic deserts are not just barren wastelands, but are teeming with life and hidden secrets waiting to be discovered. From ancient human civilizations to unique geological formations, deserts hold a wealth of mysteries that continue to fascinate scientists and explorers alike. Section 6. Temperate Forests, a familiar sight. Temperate forests are found in regions with moderate rainfall and four distinct seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. These forests experience a wide range of temperatures throughout the year. Deciduous trees, which lose their leaves in the fall, dominate temperate forests. Oak, maple, and beech trees are common examples. Animals like deer, squirrels, and bears inhabit these forests, adapting to the changing seasons by growing thick coats in winter and shedding them in summer. Section 7. The Mighty Taiga Coniferous Kingdom The taiga, also known as the Boreal Forest, is the largest land biome. It stretches across the northern hemisphere, just south of the Arctic tundra. This cold and snowy biome is characterized by long, harsh winters and short, cool summers. Coniferous trees like evergreen spruces, firs, and pines thrive in the taiga. These trees have needle-like leaves that help them conserve water and withstand heavy snowfall. Animals like moose, wolves, and lynx roam the taiga, their thick fur providing insulation against the biting cold. Section 8. Tundra. Life on the frozen edge. The tundra is a vast treeless biome found in the Arctic and on high mountaintops. It's characterized by extremely cold temperatures, permafrost, which is permanently frozen ground, and a short growing season. Despite the harsh conditions, life persists in the tundra. Low-growing plants like mosses, lichens, and dwarf shrubs cover the ground, providing food for animals like reindeer, musk oxen, and arctic foxes. Polar bears, the apex predators of the arctic, rely on the tundra's sea ice to hunt seals. Section 9. Freshwater rivers, lakes, and wetlands. Not all biomes are found on land. Freshwater biomes include rivers, lakes, and wetlands. These water bodies are home to a diverse array of life, from microscopic algae to large fish and amphibians. Rivers provide a constant flow of water, while lakes are larger bodies of standing water. Wetlands, like marshes and swamps, are areas where water covers the soil for all or part of the year. These freshwater ecosystems play vital roles in regulating water cycles and supporting a variety of aquatic life. Section 10. Oceans, the blue heart of our planet. Oceans are not just vast expanses of water, they are the lifeblood of our planet, influencing weather patterns, regulating temperature, and supporting a diverse array of life forms. Oceans cover over 70% of Earth's surface, making them the largest biome on our planet. They play a crucial role in the global climate system by absorbing carbon dioxide and heat from the atmosphere. This immense body of water is a key driver of the water cycle, providing the moisture that fuels rain and snow. These vast saltwater bodies are teeming with life, from tiny plankton to giant whales. Plankton, though microscopic, form the foundation of the marine food web, supporting a myriad of species, including the majestic whales that traverse these waters. Oceans are home to a wide range of ecosystems, including coral reefs, kelp forests, and the deep sea. Each of these ecosystems is unique and supports a variety of life forms adapted to their specific environments. Coral reefs, for instance, are vibrant underwater cities bustling with activity. Coral reefs, often called the rainforests of the sea, are among the most biodiverse ecosystems on Earth. They provide shelter, food, and breeding grounds for countless marine species. The intricate structures of corals create a complex habitat that supports a wide range of organisms, from colorful fish to tiny invertebrates. The deep sea, a mysterious and largely unexplored realm, supports unique creatures adapted to life in darkness and under immense pressure. This enigmatic part of the ocean is home to bioluminescent organisms, strange fish with otherworldly appearances, 
and deep sea vents that host communities of life unlike any other on Earth. The exploration of these depths continues to reveal new species and insights into the resilience of life. Section 11, Protecting Our Planet's Biomes. Each biome plays a crucial role in the health of our planet. They provide us with clean air, clean water, and regulate the climate. However, human activities like deforestation, pollution, and climate change are putting these precious ecosystems at risk. It's our responsibility to protect these incredible biomes for future generations. By understanding and appreciating the diversity of life on Earth, we can make informed choices to reduce our impact and ensure a healthy planet for all.